Today on Will It Shave Wednesday, we're going to be using Iridium Super Blade by Wisman. Welcome back. I'm Matthew, and today we're going to be using the Iridium Super Blade. It's supposed to be like the Pole Silver. I'll be doing a follow-up video with a comparison shave on that sometime soon. I already have that loaded in the Game Changer .84 open comb. I'm excited to try this blade out. And I'm going to be using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Rabid Vian Vienna, Banana. I'm, a, I'm excited about this shave. And uh, man, if you haven't smelled this, you're in for a treat, literally. It smells like banana Laffy Taffy. Whew. Yummy. I have some of that here in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And uh, I'm going to be using a new brush. It is made by Parker. It's the uh, Badger. It did smell like it was really close to the working end. I'm going to go ahead and get that soaking. I got that for uh, Father's Day for my son Kyle. So... Uh, be trying that out today. Thank you, Kyle. Very nice gift. All right, let's wet the face. I've been jabbering already. Forgot about wetting the face. How's everybody's week so far? Mine's been steadily busy. I'm going to go ahead and shake out some of that water and uh, begin lathering here. I did use a little bit more uh, soap this time half a teaspoon so it's going to be a lot in the bowl but uh, the smell of this is excellent I, I really enjoy it uh, actually thinking about ordering some more along with the uh, bath soap and uh, the cube I, I don't want to run out by this time next year <laughs> it's definitely coming right along I think I will add a little bit more water Just kind of gentle rotations there. I don't want to go crazy and uh, get too much air added into it right away. If you guys like banana Laffy Taffy, this will definitely awaken the senses. I'm going to call that good. This brush is doing an excellent job kind of looked like uh, it might have been more of a, a bulb type knot and so you know it's just kind of ballooning out a little bit but hey every every knot is a little bit different That knot is definitely thick. There's a lot of a lot of hair in there. It's not uh, super stiff, but it's not really flimsy. So the uh, the backbone on it is just right. I'd say it's right there in between a bore and a synthetic. So it's nice. All right. I already have that loaded up, so I don't need to say too much more about that. Let's get the shave going. Two days worth of growth. I can say the feel on this seems a little bit sharper than the Gillette Silver Blue. It's definitely cutting it down. Maybe just a hair on the other side of the smoothness of the Gillette Silver Blue. It does feel nice. It's 
a nice blade. Have you guys tried this blade out? Comment below if you have. Let me know what you think about it. I will definitely be trying this out and some other razors that I have. Run it through the mill and see how it fares out. That soap leaves some nice slickness behind. And with just a little bit of water, <laughs> whatever you got left over is just coming back to life. On the cheeks, it did an excellent job. On my neck, I can feel there's some areas there that it didn't pick up, but then back over here, it worked well. Forgot to get my shave towel out. To get a little bit more soap here. I did go through my normal break in <clears throat> with this brush to to help it go through and get some of that stinkiness out and uh, kind of help soften the, the knot up as well. I'm not sure if they put anything on the, the bristle itself, you know, to help it in shipping. You know, sometimes you get uh, like a shirt or pants and it's got like a starch or maybe not a starch, but like a, uh, oh, what do they call it? A sizing, you know? Maybe, maybe that has that in there and just, you know, it kind of helps it out. Let's go across the grain. I got it. Do a cold water rinse here. Never hurts getting a little bit of soap on your black shirt. Might do one more touch here. Lancaster, black sheep towel. cube there you go and I know what you're getting ready to say it's it's Wednesday morning how are you drinking well sometimes I shoot my video the day before so this is Tuesday night had a nice day at work figured why not follow up the nice day with a shave All right, follow that up with the matching splash. <clears throat> I 
this one does have that restrictor in it so you just kind of have to give it a few more shakes to get what you like in there oh man that smell hmm might put a little back here mama might be nibbling on my neck tonight <laughs> all right and one other thing that will complete the shave you know it if you've been here and you've been watching you know we got to have the star jelly <clears throat> this also gives me a chance to double check any areas that I may have missed rinse that off my hands there and uh, I will have a picture right here of everything that I used today I appreciate you guys sticking with me and uh, my final thoughts on that blade excellent blade uh, I like to see how well it does on a couple more shaves after this uh, just to see you know how many shaves <clears throat> will it last the typical five shaves that I get out of the Gillette silver blue we'll see uh, and you know maybe not next week or I don't know I'll just have to see but I, I will do a shootout between the pole silver and uh, the Wismet blade excellent blade um, and I will give it a shot in a couple other razors. It seems like some razors, you know, like a certain blade. Other ones, you know, they can you can have anything in there. So that's why I kind of went with the uh, Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84 because I know that razor really well. And uh, I try to keep everything the same. That way, if I have something, you know, new and it's just the blade, if it doesn't go well, I can say it's the blade, and then I know for sure what's going on. But uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you coming back and checking out videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, and uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. You have a good weekend.